Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Well, you'll be seeing this late, but happy Mother's Day. I hope you all had a happy Mother's Day. So my poor son works all the time, and I go over there as often as I can. So, you know, I... You know, I try to be considerate to my daughter-in-law. You know, there's the major mom, which is my daughter-in-law who just had the baby and it wasn't easy. And then there's the minor mom and that is me. So I, uh, my son came over and he gave me the nice gift I showed you guys. So I had no plans for Mother's Day, but of course, you know, I managed to stay busy. So, you guys, life goes on. Mother's Day is kind of like a commercial holiday. Okay, buy your mom flowers, buy your mom candy, buy your mom gifts, you know. A very sad thing happened. I cracked the handle off my new uh, teacup. When you use them all the time, you take that chance. This is a very sad situation. Okay, so tonight we're having homemade sausages. You know, I bought them and, you know, I roasted them. So uh, I should call it roasted sausages, not homemade. And then I made some, uh, oh, yummy, some pizza, some pizza out of my English muffins. When I first started doing uh, YouTube, you know, a long time ago, if you're old enough, I mean, you got to be really old to remember this. When I was a kid, I said my dream life would be a horse and pizza once a week because they didn't have the, um, they didn't have the, the frozen pizzas. And, you know, you had to buy a whole pizza. And so when my son was a little kid, they came out with pizza by the slice. And so the pizza was a dollar a slice, and I thought that was the greatest thing. And, and to tell you the truth, I could barely afford a dollar a slice <laughs> and a drink, but, you know, I would scrape up the money because I love to go out for pizza myself. Okay, so I had mint tea, I didn't tell you. So just because I'm eating this at home, I want to enjoy it. So one of the spices I stocked up on was um, crushed red pepper. Let me turn the air on, it's getting hot. It's 76, no wonder. Uh, it's like summer here, it's late. It's like uh, 10 o'clock, nine or 10 o'clock. Okay, so I want some crushed red pepper, just like when I go out. And then I have I have some uh, Parmesan cheese. Have you guys seen this? It's a dollar twenty-nine, and it's an itty bitty bottle now. I wouldn't suggest like busting the budget, but I would suggest I uh, continue to stockpile. And I was, you know, I thought I will make uh, barbecued chicken and pizza. But I thought, no, I'll make uh, I'll make sausages and pizza, barbecue. But really, I think I like I like uh, ketchup and mustard on my uh, sausages the best. So I made myself a little a little Mother's Day dinner. This is so much cheaper than going out. I mean, even fast food is ten dollars to go out which is worth it, you know, but still, you know, eating at home is one good way to save money, one real good way. So, let me get the pizzas. So yummy. So uh, what I did was I cut my muffin in half. I didn't toast it or anything. Then I had uh, bought these uh, red peppers and I diced those and I had some green onions. So I put the veggies on the bread and then I had pizza sauce and I put that on. And then at one point I had bought mozzarella cheese marked down for $2. So here's here it is, I still have some left for my pizza. It could be any kind of cheese though. 
Uh, when I was young, if all I had was uh, cheddar, that's what I used. You know, in a way, you know, when people go, oh, things are so hard. Uh, I don't know. They were pretty bad when I was young. Okay, now last night, I made cheese. And I was going to show you guys because uh, I haven't done it for a while. So I made the cheese and I ate it for breakfast. I ate it all because it just made a little batch. So now my cheese making has evolved to the way I like it. I will try to post the video on. All this is, is some shelf stable milk, about two cups, can you see it? About two cups of shelf stable milk, whole milk, and two tablespoons of vinegar, nothing expensive. So let me see, uh, here's the vinegar, two tablespoons. And you guys have probably seen this. They've changed it smaller, two cups. This is a second batch, and I still have a cup or two in there. So uh, then when I got it done, you know, I have some nice crackers. So this morning I was uh, eating crackers and, uh, and this homemade cheese. So now what I want to do is I want to show you how I... So, okay, I need two bowls, really. This is so easy. So, okay, so what I did is I heated the milk until it was hot, but I could still put my finger in it, but it was very hot. Then I added two tablespoons of vinegar and I, um, and I stirred it around. And this was good for me because I'm always trying to find ways to put vinegar in my diet because I think it protects you from all kinds of disease. Nothing protects you like a, ma a mask. So I'm not sure the, so I, I just want to pour it carefully through my uh, screen, my little screen here. Oops. And capture it all if I possibly can. I might have a little too much. But usually about uh, two, Two cups will fill this little uh, screen full of cheese. So this isn't a very sophisticated uh, setup. So once you learn this, all right, let me show you what I have so far. Here it is. Uh, I think I got this screen at Dollar Tree. Then you reboil the liquid and more cheese will come out. You could leave it like that and drink it, but, or you could choose to, uh, you could choose to get more cheese. I think all the kids should be, should be doing this for projects to learn how to make cheese. Or, you know, you should make it while they're watching just in case, God forbid. This is why, uh, this doesn't work as good on evaporated milk. So what I'm kind of doing is just carefully squeezing the rest of the juice out. I'd say this looks like about four ounces of cheese here. Easily half a cup. Uh, some people hang it with cheesecloth, but that's, and you can eat it right away. I will show you in a minute. All right, let me do some other stuff and then I will come back. So uh, today was Mother's Day and I had no clear idea of what I was going to do. And I got up and I thought, you know what, I'm going to run over to Santee where I said I had no plans on going again. And I'm going to check out the 99 cent store where they charge me full price. This is why you don't want to get lofty. And then I'll go to the thrift store. Uh, what I didn't like about the thrift store is I think it was orange tags, 50% off, and there was like no orange tags, and today was yellow tags, and there was like no yellow tags, but still, that's okay. I'll tell you why in a minute. Okay, so I decided, so what I did is I just threw on these like really awful clothes and I went because I thought chances are uh, it's Mother's Day and nobody will see me. Well, yeah, there's always somebody around to see you, but that's just too bad. 
they saw me looking pretty bad. Whoever saw me. There's quite a few people out. So the first place I went, so okay, it's pretty much all squeezed out. So now I want to get some cold water. And I've been filling my water at the kiosk. Uh, you could, I'm, I'm kind of like careful with my ice cubes because you know I drink a lot of Diet Coke and I like to drink it with ice cubes. I like to, I get this for a dollar. Very close to my house. Okay, so now, so I'll reheat this and uh, I can either leave it like buttermilk, I'll put it back in here. This time you heat it hotter to almost boiling, but not quite. Okay, so now my water is really cold. I want to dip my cheese. This solidifies. Now on this recipe, and this is old school, they don't add salt. And that's fine with me because it really doesn't need it. And then you just want to squeeze the excess moisture out. And at this point, it's pretty solid, you guys. So if you stockpile, uh, it doesn't work really good on uh, um, uh, like uh, cans of cream either. It would work best on high quality milk. Uh, I think that would be a key to living a long time, you know. I'm thinking I'm going to start buying, spending a little bit more money on my... Um, my milk and uh, you know then I can make cheese and gravy and uh, it, it's worth it actually of course I want to stockpile this milk okay so now what did I do I went to the 99 cent store and when they were ringing it up I said you know last time I was in here you guys charged me full price for the half price stuff so the guy did a very good job I could have taken the stuff back there and said, hey, but it's better just to watch it. Okay, the first thing I got for 50% off is this nice big can of soup, chicken with brown rice. I got uh, this for half price, see the dent. They had some nice cans of Spam, but I avoid uh, any bulging on the top or the bottom or like this isn't quite to the same, but if there was a bulge, so I got this half price. This would be great with just some, uh, I have chicken in the freezer and some peas. Then I got this beef gravy, which will come in handy. I usually um, heat leftover meat in this. This was a great thing. And I put the expiration, this is August, 2023. Some of them were 2024. Uh, where's the dent? This one had a very small dent. This is like a whole meal. How many servings? They say this would be one serving. Yeah, if you were starving and you wouldn't have a sandwich with it. And then the other great thing I got was five of these for half price. And these are um, chicken salad and crackers. So this is what I like to eat in my car. Last night I forgot to show you, before I, I got the big bags of cornmeal and um, I, I stockpiled these and flour, so I'm eating these up. Another thing about these, you could give these away, you know, to somebody in need, that would be a nice thing to do. So that was a great little haul at the 99 cent store. Then I went over to the the thrift store and so I was looking for I think it was yellow tags and I did find one yellow tag uh, blouse but I got six blouses and um, with my discounts which was one half price um, tag and uh, one 25 percent off I think I paid about thirty five dollars for uh, shirts and so I had bought six shirts so that was twelve shirts and so that is more than enough shirts for a year. One of the hottest and easiest trends to try this summer is the classic black and white combination. And all the, uh, I prefer brown and tan, but they didn't have that. But I got these six 
black and white tops and it works so much better. I don't see why anyone, especially if you were older, would look like good in a solid blouse. You just look like big, you know? And I've always been a person that wore black, but I'm willing to change. I'm willing to try and get lighter colors. And here's my necklace. I bought several pieces of costume jewelry. I bought this one time. And then, you know, I'm going through the watches. And so this is not an expensive watch, but I will keep it. And then when I'm done with it, I will sell it. So uh, by continuously shopping, uh, that's how you find the good deals. Okay, this is good. Now let's see, I will put it in something like what? That's my new bowls, I have to be careful. I will put it in my new bowl, my cheese. And then, you know, I have a little bit more cheese coming. This is more like this. I guess you could, you could coagulate it. But here it is. So what I was doing this morning, and it really hit the spot too. Part of the thing, part of the trick of things is to find food that is satisfying after you eat it. And I was watching TV. I'm still watching Married at First Sight. It won't end. And I was eating these crackers with homemade cheese. And I will probably keep this in the refrigerator indefinitely. This was really nice, see? So you don't want to run out of crackers. You don't want to run out of cheese. So now let's see. So enjoy life. I mean, even if you're like, not a, three strange men said happy Mother's Day. I mean, I look like the cat's breath, you guys. And I thought, well, they probably think, oh, that poor woman. I go, oh, thank you. I was a barber, so I'm like a magnet for men, which really cracks me up. That's how I made a, earn a living. I could go get a job. I could open my own barber shop. I don't want to, that reminds me of work. <laughs> that is good. Right. So I heated the, it's supposed to be 375, but I was roasting um, sausages at 400. So I just put my uh, pizzas in with the sausage for 10 minutes. Okay, so now I have, I want to mention something. Um, I posted one of Jan from New York City Saves Money's video on my Twitter so you could find find it and in it she gives me a shout out which is super nice and I also posted a video that I had done about one of her um, meatball recipes and this was a long time ago now and I was considerably thinner and so uh, thanks to Jan from New York City saves money Last month I saved $30, so my shirts were $30. I saved $1 a day, so big thanks, Jan. Ellen's Abundant Life on Less has been doing some good shows. And what I like about these two is they're older women. Most of my followers probably are. And, uh, and it's money saving and how they get by and what they do and being thrifty. I did a video uh, a while back and it was the penny pincher seemed to be doing okay. And then the other one I like is Mean Queen Super Scrimper Life After Money. Okay, so say there's four of us and our approach is entirely different. But I would say it looks to be pretty effective and I have learned quite a bit of stuff. Like I learned on Ellen's Abundant Life 
the ground has to get a certain temperature for your seeds to sprout. So now here are, I sprouted these tomato plants out of seeds out of my tomato. And so when my plants get big, I will go to the swap meet and I will sell them for a $2 each or three for $5. And I have other stuff to sell too. But my son made a good comment and he said, why don't you just sell on eBay? Because eBay was really gracious to me and gave me, I do the auction. So if you want to try it, and they gave me 300 free posts. I started out with 30 or $10,000, whichever comes first. So I thought, yeah, that's a good idea because I have the stuff. I don't have to leave the house. So, so I have clothes. So what I'm trying to find is foreign fashion like this. See this adorable thing? This is a, a sweater made in France. It's super cute. Stuff you can't just get. And then this is a super cute fashion purse. So that is the stuff. And I have tons of stuff. When I first started, I thought what I need to do is find $100,000 worth of inventory. So if you're new, you might be thinking, I could never do that. Yeah, you can. You can do it just like I did one day at a time. I have some videos when I was living in the first apartment and the stuff I bought on bulk. And I look at that, I go, oh my God. So you learn as you go along. And I'm trying, so I'm trying to find name brands or luxury items, wool, lambs wool sweaters or wool coats mainly now. Okay, now. Let's see. Oh, I want to mention this. Okay, I sprouted this celery in my window seal. And so what I want to do is I want to cut, I want to remove the, the uh, leaves and leave the plant. And then I'll plant it. See, it has a few roots. And then I will dehydrate these. Um, this is a lot of um, celery. I could eat it. I am going to eat it one way or another. So I wanted to mention that because we'll get into it. Okay, I want to talk to you about the three superpowers. The three superpowers basically are NATO, Russia, and China. Okay, and what I want to mention these three superpowers, and people aren't mentioning this, I'm not sure why. And the approaching grand solar minimum for mini ice age okay um what i want to talk about is the northern hemisphere and 90 percent of the world's population lives in the the northern hemisphere so you might be thinking to yourself well how could that be well because the southern hemisphere is like below the equator. So uh, two thirds of Africa is also in the northern hemisphere and 10% of South America. So 90% of the people that are in the northern hemisphere wear this, they're not saying people, it's going to get very cold. They're calling it climate change and all this kind of the new green deal. One of the things we want to start doing is growing uh, in-house greenhouses. Like that's why I like the Kroger stock. Uh, they're working on that. So uh, we're looking at the northern hemisphere, the part of the planet that is n north of the equator. And so we're looking at NATO. We'll just say uh, the European countries, the U.S., Canada, Russia, and China. Okay, now let's look at, uh, has there been any famines in China? Well, yeah, 1959 and to 1961, and some are saying from 1958 to 1962, there was a famine. So they're saying it was a man-made famine, um, insufficient distribution of food. Uh, how about the people yelling, we're starving? 
So, you know, you live in one of these places and you go, okay, let's see, 1959 to 1961, that's not even 100 years ago. I don't think the people have forgotten about it. So, uh, poor use of agriculture uh, techniques, and they disrupted the, the birds and stuff, and so it resulted in a famine. That was a story. I think there was just a famine. Uh, they happen. Okay, uh, in Russia, and they blame it on the government too, there was a food crisis, 1921, 1922, and 19, so say, uh, 10 years later, 1932, 1933, so you can look up the particulars. There was a food crisis. And then America, we had the Great Depression, but it was actually a worldwide famine 1929 to 1939. So we reported our depression as 10 years, and I'm sure the other ones were 10, 20 years too. So it looks like possibly if we have, okay, so we have a disease, we have war, you know, all great, um, all great contributors to food shortage. So what can we do with this knowledge? Well, he who ignores the past is doomed to repeat the past. Stop spending for the rest of the year. Okay, I'm not saying no spending. Like, is it gonna break me if I buy six shirts at the thrift store? No. Is it gonna break me if I buy $6 worth of food? No, in fact, you know, it could come in pretty handy because I, I go in my car. I don't like to be cooped up in the house and I will eat my crackers. I will eat crackers and cheese that I made as well. Okay, stop spending for, oh, for the rest of the year and let's see what happens. Basically, with me, it's no spending my entire life. I mean, I might buy a candle or some tea or some food, but pretty much. Start prepping. Start preparing. So, you know, prep a little food. Uh, my son suggested using, selling on eBay, and I thought, yeah, that's a good idea. Stockpile food and non-food items and keep your tank full of gas. And also start putting it in mind. I, I put a few um, videos, you know, on my Twitter in case of uh, blasts of various sorts and plant a garden and dehydrate food. Okay, so I'm gonna dehydrate my celery. I was watching, it's on my uh, Twitter and it was this woman, um, Teal Swan, and it was about losing weight. And she said, don't say I've gotta lose all this weight. Say, well, maybe I could eat some fruit. Maybe I could, uh, you know, do these little things. And so I started doing that, uh, you know, saving $1 a day, uh, the little by little approach. Uh, actually, although you can still see I've packed on a lot of weight, I feel as if I have somehow lost a bit of weight just by just trying to move in a slight direction. Okay, the thing about these pizzas is I can eat those every day and that pretty much counts as one piece of bread instead of paying a dollar for a small pizza or like eating big pieces of pizza. So I'm, and uh, I wanted to mention I bought, those sausages were bought last month and one 12 pack of sausages lasted me, I think about a month. I saw 24 uh, sausages for $12.99. So if you keep your eye out, like I got the 12 pack of sausages for $3.99 and you know, pick up um, some sausages if you see them. And okay, one of my most successful dehydrations is uh, beef jerky. And so I bought a large piece of beef and um, I cut it in nine pieces. So I bought it for $18 marked down from $34. And so um, my, uh, I have enough for nine batches of beef jerky. I only have seven left because I baked some, uh, baked some of it. Okay, you guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Happy Mother's Day and God bless you all.